just, I, as I always say dur- to my team during any risk off period, I say innovation gains traction during tough times. And talk about tough times. Innova- <laughs> the reason it gains t- uh, traction is because innovation solves problems better, cheaper, faster, more productive, more creative products and services. And we have a lot of problems right now. Uh, We've moved into the digital workplace, talk about innovation. uh, And that's not just front office, but it's back office. We weren't prepared in many ways. And so uh, what we're hearing from our uh, companies is that they are seeing clients uh, three years ahead of when they expected to see them or to focus on them. So we believe that the five innovation platforms around which we've based all of our research, so DNA sequencing, robotics, uh, energy storage, artificial intelligence, blockchain technology, they have all gained so much more traction during uh, or and because of the coronavirus than we could ever have imagined. Now, we believe they're on exponential growth traje- trajectories already. It's just, uh, it's happening, it's, it's being compressed uh, much more than we expected. Most, most people, most investors think that what we're doing is very niche, very niche. Uh, actually, we think this is the way the world's going to work. And the movement towards passive or even benchmark sensitive Uh, is really a backwards looking strategy. The uh, stocks in the portfolios of traditional benchmarks, especially the biggest cap stocks, they are there because of what has happened historically, because of past successes. But if we're right, and these five innovation platforms are going to disrupt every sector, every company in the world and really transform the way the world is going to work. Uh, Traditional benchmarks are in harm's way. They're being populated increasingly by value traps. If you want to help change the world and financial services, open up, open architecture with research, move into social media and marketing, Uh, Well, I would, first I would say, and consider the source here, but first I would say, um, try and stay away from anything that is benchmark sensitive. I don't think that's where the real opportunity is. I think it, that, that I think that world is is being populated by value traps and just as I think the returns are going to be disappointing. Mm-hmm. Uh, the second thing I would say is try and associate yourself directly with some performance metrics. So you can be measured your performance can be measured and no one can take it away from you. Uh, I I think that's very important, if at all possible. And we are moving into a world that is um, evolving towards exactly that. Okay, let me let me figure out the return on investment here. You know, we think about that with technologies, but I think that's going to be true when it comes to human capital. So those and just be willing to be adventurous and when others are running away and it's conventional wisdom that something is not going to take off take a closer look at it and uh and see if you can find any merit i'm not saying there will always be but if there is merit as others are dismissing the possibilities that's where you're going to find great success